Good morning, YouTube. Um, I'm sorry. Yesterday, I did not get to film for um, Sunday. Um, I just, it was crazy yesterday. So, um, this is Magnificent Monday. <laughs> this is Memorial Day. And I'm, I'm not off. I'm actually getting ready to head to work, which is perfectly okay with me. Um, and I am going to probably do a fun pop of color today for eyeshadows or, and just just try to get back into the groove of things I hadn't been feeling like really filming either but um, today I just said I would get on here and have a little fun um, I am going to try out the, the NYX micro brow pencil I think I got the wrong color I think this is good for maybe filling in here on the front end and this is in the color, I think, chocolate, or let's see. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Yeah, I got the color chocolate, and I think I need just a shade darker just for down here. But, as you know with me, we're going to roll with it. <laughs> um, I was just trying to find a, a everyday alternative to my... Uh, my NY, I mean, no, oh, my Anastasia dip brow pomade. And this is pretty good. I do like it. It's a little bit lighter. Like I said, I think I just need to go a shade darker just to be able to create what I need on the tail end right here. But it's not bad. Mm. So, yeah, I'm going to finish my eyebrows. And then come when I come back, um, I will be ready to start the uh, eyeshadow look. Um, you guys have seen this before me doing the whole eyebrow thing, which is definitely time to go get them cleaned up a little bit. So, yeah, we'll try to make this pencil work. It's not. It's really really good. I just think I got the wrong color. Eyebrows on. Eyebrows on. I'm gonna go in and set it with this um, NYX. And today, I'm going to do more of some precision, a precision look. So, basically, I'm gonna take some tape to help me create the little wing, fake wing. Um, uh, since I can't draw a wing, <laughs> that'll fly though. So, just take a little bit, back in hand, kind of take out the stickiness so it don't kill you when you're taking it off, and just kind of line it up, line it up, that's a little long, doesn't even need to be that long, but, you know, hey, it happens. So... Same thing over there. Okay. Then I'm going to take, uh, you know what? Since I didn't get to play out of my Urban Decay palette yesterday, I'm going to do it today. Yes. And so, the only color, um, just because I kind of want to do a set of different kind of base, I am going to take, um, this buxom color that I love. Let's go ahead and give you the name of it. Oh Lord, you have to pop all these out too. I need to do better. Wait, what is the name of this? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to. Okay, it's Gimme Gorgeous. I love this as my transition color. So that is what I'm going to use today. Because I'm going to use that pretty, pretty green out of the Urban Decay Alice Doodle Looking Glass. That's going to be my primary color today. And yeah, so just lay down, use some, um, a good transition color. This is my first one. And then everything else will probably come from... Um, the Urban Decay. I just like this one from Buxom. I missed it so because it's not going to be a dark look at all. I'm going to try to keep it light. So this just allows you to be able to brush 
all the way to the end and I'm going up so in and up to the end of the, my eyebrow okay and and in a minute I'm gonna figure out the next one the next color I'm gonna go in with is chest blue and I'm just gonna take that a little bit above my crease and I am using the brush that came with the Urban Decay okay and I'm just gonna blend it in I'll and be right because back. I am gonna go in with that green I am gonna take my jumbo pencil and milk and create the where I want the um, green to be kind of vibrant and the green that I'm going to use is that hatter this green right here and I may blend in a little bit of the heads will roll on top but yeah so just to kind of make that green pop a little bit and I do take the white up a little bit into the crease just to make sure that my uh, color can be seen just a little bit in the crease. Not much, but just a little bit. And this white doesn't hurt. It's just going to help everything be able to pop at that point. And so, yeah. I'm going to take... Um, this BH Cosmetics number 130 flat brush and pick up that green. Look at how pretty that is. And let's just see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yay. That is really green. <laughs> yes. Look. Yes. All kind of yes for me. Ooh. I'm just packing this on and we will blend it out. Ooh. Yeah, so I think what I'm actually going to do is take uh, Banders, Bandersnatch and I'm going to use that um, to kind of, and it's a blue, but I'm going to use that to kind of blend out uh, this little harsh edge from this green, which you cannot be afraid if you're going to wear this. Ooh. That is gorgeous, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna fix some um, all of this, and so I just want you guys to know the colors that I use. Um, yeah, so probably gonna use a little bit of Heads Will Roll and Bandersnatch to blend that um, this green. More probably the Bandersnatch over here in the corner, which is a deep blue, instead of going in with like a black or whatever. Um, I just want to try to see what that looks like. See you guys in a minute. So you guys already know I did the eyeliner um, off camera. <laughs> uh, only because you know I, the struggle is so real with this eyeliner. But um, it actually turned out pretty good. Um, I see a little something that I want to fix on it. But um, for primers today, um, I am going to go in with the Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control and a little bit of my Tarte. Uh, clean slate and I just really put that on my nose and right here where I have the little texture issues um just to kind of smooth that area out before um doing my foundation so I took the tape off and you see it created more like a little wing for you right there um and that's it I'm gonna color correct um of course with my Anastasia um palette and gonna be using this color right here warm coral so when I come back, um, we'll do foundation, um, but I'm going to go ahead and prime real quick. See that green? Oh, yes. And I did blend it out a little bit with the other green, the lighter green, just to give it, you know, some contrast. <laughs> so I'll be right back. So I was giving a sample of the NARS Illuminator. Um, I'm actually going to put it on before I put my um, foundation on to see if I can get a glow today. 
Uh, let's see how this works out. <laughs> so you guys will see at the end. So today, I'm just going to go in with my favorite, the CoverGirl Queen Collection All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation Sunscreen SPF 20. I'm in the color uh, Q840, which is called Almond Glow. And it's an all-day flawless coverage, lasting power powder, coverage of concealing blendability of a foundation in one, shine free, specific, officially designed for darker skin tones. That would be me. So I'm going to pair it today with my Real Techniques uh, Buffing Brush, Expert Face Brush. And I'm actually just going to take a couple pumps on, put it onto the brush itself. I did shake it up. And then I'm just going to... Dab it on, Oop, dab it on, and then just kind of buff it into the skin. Okay, and then wherever you feel like you need a little more coverage, like I haven't even done my forehead and stuff, but add you some more pumps and I just kind of do that on the mouth up on this little cheek side and buff it in kind of cover up where I did my little highlight earlier for the eyes Kind of clean up on the side where I may have um, overextended a little bit on the eye. And that is really it. So I'm going to finish buffing this into my skin. Um, and then I'm going to do uh, highlight and concealer. And then you guys can, when I come back, we'll do lipstick and mask. You know what? We'll see. I may do highlight a little bit because you guys, for the lips, I don't know today. Maybe something neutral? What do y'all think? Oh, I guess y'all can't tell me because it's, um, I saw a little song. Yeah, it's funny how when you see stuff in your little eye looks and then you go back in to, um, I'm in the middle of doing foundation, but I see something in my eyes I want to fix. <laughs> And you know what, because I really do like this green color, I think I'm going to actually bring it all the way down today and smoke it out. And uh, I think I'm just going to have fun with the green, okay? And I'll be back. So, um, I've baked a little bit, um, and I'm going to take a little bit of the Kat Von D Deep 74 and just kind of set the rest of my face before I wipe off um, the translucent powder which just kind of helps blend it <laughs> trying to talk in swipe kind of blend in the translucent powder uh, so you know where everything has set okay now we're going to go in with a little bronzer. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Queen bronzer today. Um, I'm just buffing the powder in really well. And let's grab that. I'm going to take a little bit and take it right above a little bit where I did the contour. Just up in this little area. For blush today, um, I'm just warming this part up just a little bit. See, and uh, yeah. So for blush today, I'm gonna take Mac. I got the right one. I'm gonna use Amber Rose. See if I can find it. Okay. 
So not a lot of blush, just a little bit. I'm gonna take it on this little brush that I have. I don't know the, I'm just gonna put it right here. Kind of snoop it back, snoop it back. And I'm just blending it in really with that. Little bronzer that we put down. Okay, then I'm gonna take, you can tell I didn't use a lot. Um, only because I'm really liking the Gilded Honey. I'm gonna take a little bit of that with that Anastasia brush if I can find it. I'm gonna just do this, swirl it a little bit, and I'm gonna take a little bit of setting spray and spray the brush, and then I'm gonna place it right here. If you want your highlight to pop, that's what you would do. Need a little more blending. If you make a mistake, like I just did, just take your powder brush and kind of blend it out. I'm going to finish the under eye and um, come back and let you guys see the final look, okay? I hope I'm all run out of time. I got to get to work. Don't kill me, though. I'm going to try to come back. Okay, YouTube, final look. Um, I did use a, a little bit of reflection in the brow bone. Not much, just a little bit. And um, on my lips is the Anastasia Pure Hollywood with, of course, the Jordana. Um lip liner. You guys know I'm running late, right? So, um, I'm just going to use a little bit of this brow set from MAC just to finish off. Um, sometimes powder gets in there and, you know, um, it starts to look a little crazy. So sometimes, like, I'll end it with that just to kind of get the brow set. And this color that I am using is Show Off. And, um, of course, Marc Jacobs for the mascara. I think that's it. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, let me know. This does come off kind of funny. That's why you have to make it brown girl friendly with your lip liner. Then you should be okay to use it. Just kind of, you know, make sure you blend the two the the liner and your um liquid lipstick okay let me know what you guys think i really like this look um i had a lot of fun with this green um and i just went in with a little bit of the um lighter green underneath i didn't go um bright green and i just used a little bit of my sephora wide awake in the rim just to keep things open. And that's it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.